come with me. Let's make a beautiful salad made with Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna show you what, how to whip up a very quick, creamy Brussels sprouts salad. Hi there, Shelly here with Shelly Can Help. Now I'm all about salads because they're healthy, but salads can be super boring when you do lettuce all the time. So what I'm gonna make today is a creamy Brussels sprouts salad. Don't let it scare you if you think you don't like Brussels sprouts. This salad is so refreshing and a wonderful hearty side for any, di for any dinner. And then what you can also do is you can add a protein to it to make it a full meal. It's perfect for lunch. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is we need to shred our Brussels sprouts. So what I'm gonna do is just cut the ends off my Brussels sprouts and put them in a food processor. Okay, the Brussels sprouts, the, um, the ends have been cut off and I cut some of the large ones in half and I'm just gonna put them in a food processor. If you do not have a food processor, you can hand chop the Brussels sprouts. We just want to shred them so that they are easy to eat with a fork. So now all my Brussels sprouts are in the food processor and we're just gonna give it a good mix. Now we are going to cut an apple. I love my salads, sweet, tangy, and savory. And of course my dog Millie is at my feet because she loves the sound of the cutting board because she knows I'm gonna give her something. You can chop these or you can, do, I like to do them in slices just like that but you're welcome to chop it if you want them in smaller pieces. Apples are really good for us. Lots of vitamins and minerals in fruit. You won't need the whole apple, so feel free to snack on it while you cook. And the Brussels sprouts are loaded with antioxidants. They're anti-inflammatory, but the best thing about Brussels sprouts is they have fiber. I just wanna talk about fiber for a second. I talk about it a lot, but I don't think we, it's not clicking in people's minds. We don't get enough fiber because of all the preservatives that are in the foods on the shelves today. All the fiber is stripped out of the food in order for it to give it a long shelf life. So it's our job to make sure we are eating fiber every day. Apples have fiber, Brussels sprouts have fiber. We need to help our digestive tract stay healthy and regular. And fiber is a great way to do that. It prevents all kinds of stomach issues. It prevents colon issues. It prevents digestive issues. So it's important to get a lot of fiber in our diet. I have fiber in every recipe that I make. All right, now the apples are done. The Brussels sprouts are done. Now we're just going to make our dressing. Okay, now it's time to make the delicious dressing. I'm a big fan of making your own dressings. Here's why. You can make a dressing a marinade. You can make it a uh, dressing for a salad. You can make it thicker and it can be a spread on a sandwich. You can make it a dip for a snack. I'm a big fan of dressings. A lot of the dressings on the grocery store shelves today are loaded with sodium, sugar, and preservatives when you can make your own in less than five minutes. I make a new dressing once a week. That way our taste buds are on fire, you know, and they get lit up because it's a new flavor and because it's fresh. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you my screen, I mean my mixing bowl, actually it's a measuring cup. So we're gonna make the dressing, here we go. We're gonna do extra virgin olive oil. Now, here's a little tip on your oils. Make sure you buy them in dark glass containers. Oils do not like a lot of light and extra virgin olive oil does not like a lot of heat. So this oil is perfect for dressings. You wanna stick with an avocado oil or a coconut oil when you're cooking with heat over the stove because they can withstand higher heats. Extra virgin olive oil is a gentle baby and it does not like heat. 
Now we're going to add apple cider vinegar. Really good for the gut balance. Good bacteria is going in. As apple cider vinegar is a great option. So if you see a recipe that you wanna try and it calls for white vinegar, substitute it for apple cider vinegar. There's more nutrients and more health benefits and more nutrition inside apple cider vinegar. So use it in lieu of white vinegar in your recipes. Now we're gonna add in Dijon mustard. And we're gonna add in a little bit of maple syrup for sweetness. Maple syrup has antioxidants in it too, so make sure it says 100% pure maple syrup on the label. We're gonna add in turmeric for anti-inflammatory properties. We're gonna add in a little bit of sea salt. I always like to keep my ingredients handy so I can add more things if it, if it needs some adjustments. We're gonna add in a little black pepper. And the last ingredient is, we're gonna add in some non-dairy, unsweetened, unflavored yogurt. So I use this a lot in my recipes. If a recipe calls for sour cream, I will use this instead. It's non-dairy, so it's anti-inflammatory, and we don't need anything sweetened or flavored because we really just need it for a creamy base for our dressing. I love Forager Project. It is my favorite brand of non-dairy yogurt. And um, this one is a cashew milk yogurt, but you can use coconut milk yogurt, almond milk yogurt. You just want to avoid dairy yogurt. Dairy causes inflammation and all of my recipes are dairy and gluten-free. It's time to add, chop up some parsley. We're gonna put it on top of our salad, but I wanted to give you a little tip. There's a couple of ways that you can store your herbs. The first one is you can take your herbs, just whack the very bottom of the stems off of the bushel and put them in a mason jar with a little bit of water and put a plastic bag over the top for some moisture control in for the leaves. Or you can cut the, cut the uh, parsley or, or cilantro, whatever you're buying, just cut this, the bottom of the stems off, wrap them in a damp paper towel and store them in a Ziploc bag or a glass container. Your herbs will stay fresh a lot longer. So we have parsley here and I am just going to grab a little bit. This is flat leaf par parsley, but you can use any kind you want. Don't forget, every ingredient that you put into your food can serve a, a nutrition purpose. So Mother Nature is pretty amazing. And with parsley, there's a lot of minerals in fresh herbs. So if you can use fresh, do it because there's just more, more nutrients in a fresh herb than a dried. Uh, dry, I'm not against dried, but if you can do fresh, do it. And parsley and cilantro both, they actually help remove heavy metals from the body. So we consume heavy metals every day from radioactive stuff, from microwaves, from um, you know, prescription drugs, um, even deodorant has aluminum in it. So we just need to get, get the heavy metals out of our body as much as we can, and parsley is a great way to do that. All right, parsley is ready, chopped to go on top of our salad. Now it is time to assemble our beautiful creamy Brussels sprouts salad. We are, I'm doing an individual bowl today because I'm gonna have this for lunch. So we're gonna add in our Brussels sprouts that we shredded. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm, for presentation purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my dressing. And I'm gonna give it a mix So 
So I'm just going to go ahead and mix it up because I want the dressing on the Brussels sprouts to get good and combined. And then I will add in, I'll top it with all of my toppings. I think when your food is pretty, you're more inclined to eat it. I'm actually going to add some more. I didn't quite add enough. Brussels sprouts, so good for us. Add in a little more dressing because it's healthy and why not? Give it another stir. This is a really good salad if you're having a group of friends over, if you have a bunko group, a, a book club, a yoga group, just some friends hanging out. This is a really good light salad, easy to whip up. You don't have to cook anything. And you can add some chicken to it, some salmon to it, shrimp to it, tofu if you're a vegetarian. Okay, the Brussels sprouts are good and coated. And now we're just gonna add in our pretty apple slices. Yummy, so yummy. And we're gonna add in our toasted pepitas. And we're gonna to top it with parsley. And there you have it. A very healthy, delicious, easy to make, creamy Brussels sprouts salad. Don't forget, you can add a protein to it and it can be a complete meal for you. Lunch is awesome. It's great for baby showers and wedding showers and any kind of girl party that you're gonna have. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to learn more about me, my services, my online classes, head to ShellyCanHelp.com. Thanks for watching. I gotta run, but I have one question for you before I go. What is on your fork? Bye for now.